All right, so here we are doing another video on the surface shield versus fluid film versus New Hampshire oil, which is the top three, in my opinion, of the undercoatings. Uh, I have been hearing, I've got some comments about fluid film AR, which is supposed to be an undercoating that is marine grade and lasts for five years. But if that's the case, why didn't they just make it all fluid film AR? Instead of making you have to reapply it every year and making it so it washes off. The marine grade stuff, everyone's saying that it doesn't wash off like the fluid film washes off. Um, then I had a guy telling me that uh, Surface Shield is 70% solvent and it's going to evaporate. And the only reason I can see the coating on the frame of the truck is because um, it doesn't soak into rust. And the fluid film would have soaked into the rust and you wouldn't see it. And, but there's no rust on the frame of that truck. So I don't understand what he's saying. The reason you can still see this on the frame is because it didn't soak in. It makes no sense. There's no rust for it to soak into. It does soak into rust, just like fluid film. Um, I've seen it. We've tried it. We've used it. Uh, however, it sticks better. So he's saying, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's going to evaporate. Well, I've got a test piece out here that's been on here for like two months, baking in the sun. Uh, it's leaning up against the front of my shop, which is Southern Exposure. And I did uh, two little swaths of the surface shield on there. It uh, gets dripped on by the eve of the shop well we'll go out and look at that in a minute he was also you know people also tell me that the fluid film is a thinner product well uh you know here we go this is let me get a stick i just opened all these they're all cold so here we go with the surface shield by blaster telling me that it's all solvent and that you know it's going to kill you and stuff well so here we go. It's kind of like a caramel fucking consistency. You know, it's still thick. It's uh, 23 degrees out right now, snowing. Um, you know, it's it's thick. It's but it it still runs. Um, so now I need to I don't know wipe this stick off I guess. Uh, but you still have to heat it up. You still have to keep it. You know, when this stuff is room temperature, it it's way thinner, obviously because it's 60 degrees warmer. Um, just throw that in there. <clears throat> Oops, here we are with the fluid film. Fluid film. Again, I just opened all this stuff. It's all cold. Same temperature. It's all been stacked right there. Hasn't gone anywhere. Hasn't been heated up. Got another piece of wood here. This is fluid film. You can see it's all separated. It does that. It separates a lot. Um, so it requires mixing every time you use it. It stinks. I hate the smell of it. And it's thick. Like, there's no comparison on the fact that Surface Shield is a thinner product. Like, look at this. Just get gobs of it out of there, and it's just, it's thick. This won't spray through the gun even at room temperature. You have to heat it up. And it just makes a huge mess. And I just, I don't like it. I hate the smell of it. I haven't used it since I got Surface Shield. Um... Let's, uh, let's ch check out the New Hampshire oil here. New Hampshire oil is about the same consistency of the surface shield, if not a tad thinner. Need another piece of scrap wood here. There we go, using up all my shims. Uh, you can see, I think it's a tad thinner than surface shield actually. This is the back to black, they do have a clear. It's definitely thinner than surface shield. I did, I like the way this stuff sprays. Um, it does have a, an odor to it, but that's definitely thinner than than the fluid film, definitely thinner than Surface Shield. So let's go check out the theory of evaporation. <clears throat> so let's go check this out. Okay, it's snowing out right now, you guys can see. I just finished a plowing with the uh, Sportsman 570. Parked the truck in the way, but... Um, you can see I plowed everything up, but here we go. This right here on the this is the frame. I did a video on this where you could still see, you know, the film on the frame. Um, it's getting some dirt on it now, but it definitely is still there, and it, you can feel it and you can see it. So it's definitely stuck way better than the fluid film. Haven't seen any signs of evaporation. Um, so right here under the eave, I put this. This gets southern exposure and. It gets dripped on when it rains. You can see the snow is actually sticking to this product. Um, you can see, and I can feel this. So this is rusty, obviously. Nice, nice coat of surface rust on here. Um, 
it's it's definitely still there it has not evaporated i mean look at that it's it's there see that's not the water from the snow that's the that's the film you can see it you know and it, it's worked like uh, i only did I think, two swipes like this right there and it's creeped down all along there and this was the same thing this has creeped out extensively into the rust so that's the surface shield i didn't put any fluid film on here because i know it'll just wash off i don't really care about that i just want to show the surface shield product so all right that's just some of the stuff that i've been um hearing and been told that <clears throat> you know there may be a lot of solvent in the surface shield i don't know i'm not all i care is that the product works i don't care about what's in it if it works it works who I, I you know people still put friggin transmission fluid on for undercoating and stuff so it's like you know what's the big deal and obviously you know this has gone through extensive testing and stuff and there's other people that have showed it versus the fluid film the new hampshire oil i still like the new hampshire oil you know back to black especially if you got surface rust um but the surface shield you know it's definitely superior to fluid film in my opinion all right everybody thanks for watching don't forget to like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think about fluid film surface shield and uh all that good stuff I'm trying to reach a thousand here subscribers so we can get monetized hopefully sometime soon and uh make some more videos buy some more stuff so all right